Now we're going to switch on the machine and you see how the boot up screen looks like. You can see that it is power on and they do a 15 second system check. At the end of the check, you notice that they know how many drives you have. There are 8 drives plus hard disk, so they know exactly how many drives are inside the machine. So, you see the first choice is always copy because uh, this is a copying machine. The most more commonly used mode, the default mode is always uh, copy. Source, they put no because we haven't put in anything into the source. So what we do is we can put in uh, some data CD into the first drive and that will be the source. So you can actually change the source at the moment it has been chosen to be the first drive. You can change the source to the hard disk also. So in this case this now it is chosen to the first drive. Let me put some data CD on the first drive. You will do a check. You can see the light on the first drive is on. And you notice the first drive has a CD of 389 megabytes. So that's how it does a check. So now you have a source already. So there's some data on the source. So this machine um, is designed to auto start to make your copying job much easier and faster. So the moment you put in blank CDs, it will start to copy. If you do not want to have any kind of mistake, very important, take a closer look at the source. Make sure is it the correct source that, that you want. Take a closer look at the mode. Is this a mode you want before you put in any blank CD to copy? Otherwise, it will just start copying and it will be too late for you to stop, stop it. Okay? So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a compare. So what I do is I'll change by pressing the up down arrow key. You can see number two is to test. That means it's to test whether the machine is working. It won't actually burn the blank CD in your drives below the controller. Okay. So now I'm going to see three. Three is to compare. That's what I'm going to do. So actually I have a master CD down here. I have actually copied CD. They are exactly the same as master. I want to know whether these copied CD are okay. Is there any uh, errors? Are they identical to the master or they have been mixed with some other CD? So I'm going to put, going to put in the blank disk and then not blank disk, I mean the disk that has data into the other drives below the controller. So you notice that it will auto start the moment I stop. So I just keep inserting this into drives into the bottom and it will know how many these are there. You can see times one, it will increase to times two, times three until you have detected all the drives with CD to compare. You will start immediately to compare. You will not wait. So it's very important that whatever you want to do, whether it is compare or to copy, you must put in your CDs. Don't let it pause because pause means the machine interprets as you are allowing the machine to go ahead. So as you notice, I, I can put in slowly. You don't have really have to hurry. I put in seven days to compare. So until it reaches seven and I didn't put in any more. That's it. It starts to compare, analyze the disk. And you can see it's comparing now. So you can see how the machines are actually comparing. You can see all the drives are on now. They are all comparing the same CD that is copied, the same data as your master. See now.
you can see the copying process is going on now and it's pretty fast you can see the amount of time lapse so it's uh, 58 59 seconds you know the uh, percentage of the data that was completed for example is 46 48 49 you know 50 now and the amount of data being compared that was complete so that will be in megabytes so 229 234 megabytes so so it tells you the mode is doing a compare now there are seven days they are comparing so compare seven days the total in the master is 389 megabytes and this is the progress going on for all the seven drives that is being compared now so it's pretty fast another few more seconds it will complete and you will be able to see how it reacts when it complete that's it all done finish you can see they are all ejected at the end of completion so any drive that has bad disk you will remain closed inside there you remove those that are ejected which are good this and then the bad ones you remove later by manually ejecting them so now these are all the good ones I'm going to remove them and then I close them so I have all the good ones now I'm going to remove all of them So you can see that uh, the machine is ready to do the next job of compare again. The moment you put in any disk and you will start comparing again. So no, we're not going to do compare again. So I'm going to show you what else the machine can do. So I'm not going to put in any more disk here to compare. So let's take a closer look. What are the other choices? OK, 